Okay, finally, the vocals. Um, vocals have always been the single most tedious and difficult thing to mix in my whole experience trying to mix music. And um, the reason for that is that vocals are such an in-your-face part of the song. You know, no matter what vo volume it is, it's the face of the song. And you want it to sound it, uh, its best. And the uh, the tricky thing with vocals is that you can't tr uh, trick people with, with vocals. You have to be very honest with them. And what I mean is... You know, it, you, it's easy to get away with, you know, squashing the crap out of guitars, um, because it's, you know, in the mix it'll it'll sound good and adds to the fatness of the sound. But with a with the human voice with a vocal track, you're you're talking about a human being that, you know, if if you overprocess it, it's gonna sound robotic or it'll just sound bad, and it'll sound inhuman and you really want there to be as much of a natural sound as possible with vocals while getting the punch and smoothness and reverb that you that'll match the sound the sound of the song yeah after spending so much time on I've spent months and months and years and years trying to get a good vocal sound and thankfully with uh, the miracle of easy mix I've been able to come up with a good sound um, it took me forever but um has a little bit of autotune evo on here, but it's only on brief portions of the song. Um, if I turned it off, you you probably wouldn't even notice. Basically, the only two thing like I don't even think of autotune as an as a part of the chain. It's just something that I use to touch things up as I go. But um, the only two real things I have on here are two easy mix. Um, presets and the fun thing about this is that they're um, they're just presets the, um, the thing I've always struggled with with vocals is that you want it to sound really clear in the mix you want to have some low end just enough to make it sound like a human voice and not a chipmunk but you know whenever I try to boost the high end it ends up sounding like I'm you know I'm sticking a hammer through glass upwards into the sky and everybody sees it and hears it and it sounds gross and I finally just started playing around with easy mix with the vocals you know I I, uh, I threw all my my EQ ideas in the trash when it came to the vocals like a couple weeks ago because the built-in um, presets and easy mix were just they just basically took care of all the issues I ever had and the way I did that was number one there's this um, preset called clear up vocals it does exactly that. It's basically, um, I don't know what's in the chain completely. It looks like it's got a compressor and EQ, but um, it sounds as if it functions as a high pass somewhat too, but it, uh, basically it does exactly what it says it does. It clears up the vocals. Here's um, the vocal dry, uh, pretty much dry. There's a little bit of reverb and delay, but you know, whatever. Well, if I told you it was gone, well, if I told you it was gone, that everything you knew was wrong, what would you say to me? Completely dry. Um, it sounds great, but you know, in the context of a mix, it's going to sound overwhelming, and you got to clear that up and compress it and make it sound nice in the mix. So, number one, slap some of that clear up vocals on. Well, if I told you it was gone, that everything you knew was wrong, what would you say to me? Well, if I told you it was gone, that everything Wait. you knew was wrong. It already just does some great things to it. So that preset is called Clear Up Vocals. The second Easy Mix one I do is Vocal 4. It's a preset in Easy Mix um, that pretty much puts the cherry on top well if i told you it was gone that everything you knew was wrong what would you say to me it's got like this track echo sound that kind of just makes it uh it sounds round and just cool 
but it's it's not even noticeable that, that there's an effect happening there. It just it just sounds good in the mix. You know, it's it's not gonna sound great everywhere, but for this song it's perfect because you know it's it's fast enough and busy enough that the good things, you know, the side effects of the good things it's doing for it you don't really notice. So um but I mean I think it sounds great dry also. But um so that's all I do with vocals now. Um I just throw those two easy mix presets on one clear up vocals do that one first and second put on vocal four and that's uh basically putting the cherry on top making uh putting a compressor on it a little bit of delay and eq and just those two presets alone sound magical i think well if i told you it was gone that everything you knew was wrong would we that's that's pretty much what I do in GarageBand now. Um, drums, bass, guitar, vocals. Oh, I have um, on the master track. I've also got um, Easy Mix applied to that. That um, that's the other wonderful thing. One of the the biggest things that's helped improve my mixes um, more recently is just the Easy Mix master presets and the cool thing about easy mix is they make everything extremely idiot proof for you and very fun and intuitive and easy to use and it's just a breeze um you know one of the ways that it's it's easy to use is they limit your options so that you know you don't spend hours trying to find your favorite preset you just have like one or two of them and I actually like that because, you know, with, with too many options, I start getting frustrated like I I was right bef you know, before I got an easy mix. And, you know, the cool thing is you their presets are so good, even with the couple that they have per instrument, that you don't need to have 20 of them. You just, you know, like, for instance, these master uh, presets they have, there are only two of them, but you can adjust them a little bit. If you have, if you want to, like in this case, I, I uh, crank the uh, whatever this is up. That's basically a compressor, and then the limiter that'll bring up the overall volume. Uh, here's it without. Then here's with the master. You can tell right away it does some awesome things um, for the mix. Oh, here's a little trick I like to do, by the way. If you're um, if you're mixing a, like a chorus and you want it to sound really big, um, one of the things I always struggled with, um, and this used to drive me nuts, but like, say you want a really big part in the song, like the chorus, I would uh, I like to get the bigger sound by adding more guitars. Um, like in this case, let's see, what did I do? Yeah, I had two guitars in this verse right here. That's the intro. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Disregard everything I just said, but basically my, my point was if you want to get a bigger sound out of the vocals, like during the more emotional and heavy parts of the song, like the choruses, do this little trick where you you literally double the voice and put it on a second track and use auto-tune. And um, I always go into graphical mode. Um, I had already done it, and I, I pitch-corrected this one already. I exported it and re-imported it, but basically... Tune this one to perfection, like to robotic perfection, and then turn it down a little bit and use it as an overdub track. And it it really does some wonders for your mix because it's quite you know if you turn it you want to turn it down quiet enough that you don't notice that there's a lot of processing on it, but the the fact that there is a per technically perfect track underneath the original actually kind of simulates the sound of an overdubbed like a naturally overdubbed voice and it makes it sound thicker and awesome so but you don't have it all 
out And worst of all, it's no one's fault On a sin's agony Every single day this, this is just with the primary But you don't have it all And worst of all, it's no one's fault On a sin's agony Every single day Here's with both and the music It's basically what I call faux overdubbing. You take the original signal and you duplicate it, and then you just edit it to technical perfection. Even though it's you know it doesn't, I mean just listen to it by itself. It's it's it sounds funny like just by itself, but. but you don't have it all. And worst of all, it's no one's fault on a sin's agony every single day. Yeah, you can tell tell there's some heavy pitch correction on there but with the volume lowered you don't really notice it um and it all you catch is the good parts the parts that you are keeping there to complement the primary track so it's a cool trick and yeah if you use it during the heavier parts of the songs you usually have enough um, busyness going around going on surrounding it that you don't notice it anyways and all you catch is the benefits so try that out. It's a pretty cool trick. Um, and that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed this 